Hello, my friends. God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And I pray that you are being blessed today and having a wonderful day. Now, I have a special announcement today because we're going to do something different. And I need your participation. Before I get into what it is, let me read something to you. The Bible says in the book of Malachi, chapter number four and verse uh, five and six, it says, Behold, I send you Elijah, the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. My friends, this is the prophet Malachi prophesying of the ministry of John the Baptist. Matthew's gospel chapter number three says, In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. John the Baptist was the fulfillment of the coming of the prophet uh, Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers, lest God smites the earth with a curse. My friends, I'm excited to be a part of a movement, a movement in this world uh, that's taking place that is helping to do just that. It's CFAD. Christian Families Against Destructive Decisions. CFAD, Christian Families Against Destructive Decisions. CFAD is that which God has given uh, to my chief of staff that the Lord has given me here in NC Third. And uh, I'm so proud of him, uh, the Apostle Tommy Eugene Quick. He's a superintendent in our jurisdiction and he's doing a tremendous work of God. And I'm excited about Tonight, yes, tonight. Now, normally, I am right here at the Upper Room, Church of God in Christ for Bible study. But tonight, I'm doing something different, and I need you to join me. I need you to be a part of this. I want you to go to cfad.org. Listen to this, C-F-A-D-D. CFAD, the acronym for Christian Families Against Destructive Decisions, CFAD.org. On CFAD.org, you'll find yours truly. I will be at the Promised Land in Spartanburg, South Carolina, preaching, uh, being a part of the CFAD conference. I am a board member of CFAD, and I'm excited about being there tonight. And there's something else that's, that's going to uh, take place tonight that I'm very excited about. There's a $100,000 challenge that's going on, and a, a tremendous donor has agreed to match each donation up to $100,000 to aid CFAD in the tremendous work that they're doing. I want to say to that anonymous donor, may God bless you for your generosity. And we're going to come and do all that we can to, uh, to, to raise a hundred thousand uh, dollars, or, or as much as we possibly can that, 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 so that you will match that. And this tremendous donor have said that it would, uh, that he or she would match us up to a hundred thousand dollars. So I'm going to be ministering the word of the Lord there. I've asked the members of North Carolina third ecclesiastical jurisdiction uh, and many of my friends to join me at Spartanburg Discipleship Center, Church of God in Christ, home of the promised land, headquarters of CFAD to join me there uh, as I minister the word of the Lord there and aid in this worthwhile endeavor. My friends, as never before, the family needs to be supported. Marriage needs to be supported. Supported, that is, marriage between a man and a woman, and the children of that union. And we have single parent families, all kinds of families. We, they, they need to be supported. And family, we need to know what we're talking about when we talk about family, we need to hear things that strengthen the home. Many families today have gone astray. Many families today are doing things that, quite frankly, we didn't think that families would do. We just overrode the governor's uh, veto and uh, stopped uh, minors from being taken by families to doctors to be mutilated. 
Families are lost. Husbands are lost. Wives are lost. Sons and daughters are lost. What is the remedy for the ills of this day? Is there any hope? Is there a way out? Is there a savior? Is there a deliverer? The answer is yes. And his name is Jesus. Jesus Christ, the righteous, the God of the Bible, the son of the living God, the great I am. Oh my, he is the coming potentate. Good God almighty, who will come again and take us home to be with him. And everybody needs to know who Jesus is. And I want you to hear what I have to say tonight. It's going to be a move of God. And I pray that you would watch with a mind to join us, to, to help us to meet that $100,000 challenge. And, uh, and to see yokes destroyed in the name of the Lord. Our country is in trouble. Our institutions are in trouble. Our schools are in trouble. We have a shortage of teachers. We have a shortage of bus, bus drivers. Uh, law enforcement officers are walking off the job. There have been reports where in, 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 in complete municipalities and little towns where the whole entire police department just quit. So much for defund the police and criminals are having a field day. We're living in a day now where criminals are walking into major department stores, major, just the other day, walk into Nordstrom's out in California in broad daylight, not under the dark of night. They didn't break in or go in right as the store was closing, but in broad daylight and take and took what they wanted and walked out the front door. Convenience stores, grocery stores. Uh, corner mom and pops, people are being assaulted. Things are happening in this world unlike anything we've seen before. And I believe this. If there's any hope, the hope is in the name of Jesus. The hope is in our promoting the gospel of Jesus Christ and saying to families, saying to moms, saying to dads, saying to sons and saying to daughters, turn to Jesus. Turn to the God of this book. Hear him and he will set you free. He will save your souls. My God, he'll make life brand new. Brother Gary, when he saved me, I looked at my hands and my hands looked new. I looked at my feet and they did too. I started to walk and my friends I had a brand new walk. I'll never forget when I walked out of the Temple Church of God of Christ that day, that third Sunday in November uh, back in uh, uh, 1977, and I looked up at that beautiful blue sky, and I don't know if the sky changed any colors at all. It could have been my view, my sight, but it certainly did look bluer. The air smelled fresher, and I knew that something had changed on the inside of me. Jesus Christ had washed my sins away. My friends, that was over 40 uh, four, 45 years ago. And here I am today still talking about the savior and still talking about, uh, what he did that day and all of the things that he's done in my life ever since then. And all of these things, according to the scriptures is just a down payment. It is the earnest of the spirit. Hallelujah. It's, it's a down payment on what the Lord has for you and what the Lord has for me when we get to heaven, when we get over there and we will be with him forever. <laughs> Who wouldn't serve a God like this? So listen, I want you to join me tonight. Again, go to cfad.org and that's cfad, C-F-A-D-D dot org. Get ready. Join me tonight. We're going to preach the word of the Lord. We're going to put forth an effort to be a blessing uh, to that tremendous conference. As I forementioned, I'm a proud board member of CFAD. I appreciate what God is doing through this, uh, this particular, this move of God. And I want you to be a part of it. I'm so committed to it that there will be no service here at the upper room Church of God in Christ. We're taking everything and everyone that we can 
and we're going down to Spartanburg and for the members here who are not, who will not be able to travel, then I want you too to go to cfad.org and join me there. And we're going to have church and God's going to move by his spirit and good things are going to happen. So we'll see you tonight at the Spartanburg Discipleship Center Church of God in Christ, home of the promised land for the mighty CFAD conference. And God's going to bless us real good. I'm going to preach the word of the Lord. See you tonight.